indications. Ostium Siconum ASD with diameter less than equal to 36 millimeters. The inner atrial septum should be larger than the device. The rims from the defect to coronary sinus, atrial ventricular valves, and upper right. Pulmonary vein orifice should be greater than or equal to 5 millimeters. Patent foramen oval, PFO, with paradoxical embolism. Contraindications associated with other congenital cardiac anomalies which require open heart surgery. Ostium primum ASD, severe pulmonary hypertension, Einsmenger syndrome, total occlusion of inferior vena cava due to thrombosis, general condition not suitable for transcatheter therapy. Implementation of ASD actor. A standard right heart catheterization is performed after the intrusor sheath being inserted into the femoral vein. The delivery sheath is exchanged into the left atrium or left pulmonary vein over the wire. The actor screwed onto the delivery cable is then advanced in the sheath until reaching its distal end. The rotation of the delivery cable should be minimized. With the guidance of fluoroscopy and transesophageal, transthoracic echocardiography, the delivery sheath is retracted until the left atrial disc is expanded in the left atrium, and then it is pulled back together with the delivery cable inside as one piece until the left atrial disc is against the left side of the interatrial septum. Subsequently, the sheath is further retracted that leads to the expansion of the right atrial disc on the right atrium. With the observation of fluoroscopy and echocardiography, the delivery cable is pushed forward and pulled backward repeatedly with the proper tension to confirm a stable position of the device. If misplacement occurs, the actor can be retrieved into the delivery sheath redeployed or replaced by another device. The device is released by unscrewing the delivery cable counterclockwise using the plastic vise as indicated by the arrow on the delivery cable. Heparin is given during the first three days following the procedure and on antiplatelet medicine, aspirin, for half a year. Patients will return to the hospital for follow-up visits scheduled at three months and or six months after the procedure. Echocardiography examination will be performed to confirm the device's position properly and the residue shunt is absent or insignificant. Solutions to complications. There will be several complications during or after the procedure. Air embolism in coronary arteries. It would happen if air is brought into coronary arteries due to improper manipulation. The symptoms and signs of acute coronary syndrome will be presented that need immediate treatment. If symptoms are relieved and ECG is returned to normal in a short time, the procedure can be continued. Otherwise, it must be stopped with other therapies maintained. Thrombosis it is usually caused by improper use anticoagulants during or after the procedure and should be treated symptomatically in most cases. However, when intracranial thromboembolism is suspected, it must be differentiated from hemorrhage, especially in senior or hypertensive patients. Device dislodgement. Once it happens, an emergent open heart surgery or transcatheter procedure should be performed to remove the device. Cardiac tamponade. It is a severe adverse event and may be life threatening if in delayed awareness and treatment. If it happens, pericardial puncture drainage or emergent open heart surgery must be performed immediately. Questions to be concerned. The use of sizing balloons to measure ASD. It has been suggested by clinical practice that although the use of sizing balloons may improve the accuracy in measuring ASD diameter, it could also inevitably enlarge ASD, in particular the type with floppy rims. 
This will result in the choice of an inappropriately larger agglutter or even failure in some originally curable cases. However, the use of sizing balloon is recommended in the following situation. Before two ASDs are attempted to be closed by one larger agglutter, the sizing balloon can be used to test the closure effect. If it is good, one agglutter method is feasible. Otherwise, it should be considered to deploy two agglutters. Therefore, during the recent three to four years, the sizing balloon has not been adopted in over 95% of the cases of transcatheter ASD closure in China. The use of transesophageal echocardiography (TEE) during the procedure. Although there are several remarkable advantages of using TEE in the transcatheter closure of ASD, it can be limited by the relatively high expense. Invasive and uncomfortable nature to patients, as well as low equipment capacity in China. The experts in China have found a series of method of applying transthoracic echocardiography (TTE) in the guidance of the transcatheter procedure, according to their experiences in ten thousands of cases. Nowadays, TTE is performed in China from patient selection to device placement in 99% patients who receive transcatheter ASD closure. While TTE is performed in obese patients or those have large defect with floppy ribs, the safety and reliability are comparable between TTE and TEE methods.